Hi, I'm Jennifer from Shabby Fabrics. Today I'm going to show you how to make these wine glass coasters. These are great, especially at a party when everyone's drink looks exactly the same. You can make these, they're cute, um, they protect the, the surface that you're putting the glass on, and again, they kind of identify whose glass is who. And they're super simple to make using charm packs. Now, each one takes just five squares. So a normal charm pack has 42. So you can make eight coasters out of one charm pack. So that's a great value um, to be able to make these great, um, it's a great gift idea too, a housewarming gift. I have a friend moving into town and I'll be making a set for her, um, as well as the wine bottle tote. So that makes a great housewarming gift. Let me get started and show you how to make this. Be sure to go to the homepage, shabbyfabrics.com. At the very bottom, there will be a link that says free downloads. Go ahead and click on that and you'll download the wine glass coaster pattern. And that's the circular um, piece that you'll need to do the project. So I've picked my five charms and today we'll be using the Refresh um, collection by Moda that was designed by Sandy Gervais. She's a longtime designer for Moda. I love her collections. Uh, five fabrics. One will be for the very bottom. And the other four, I'll just bring that out again. See how there's four different, four different fabrics here. Those four will be on the top. So whatever it is that you want on the bottom, you'll put that aside and you'll cut a piece of fusible interfacing. Now this is an option. You don't have to choose the fusible interfacing. We chose it just so that the bottom of the glass would have a little bit more sturdiness, but you don't have to do that. If you do, cut a five by five inch square. Consequently, you don't have to use charm packs. If you've got a nice stash of fabrics, just cut your fabrics into five by five inch squares. So charm packs are just a convenience item, but you can of course use your stash. Um, five by five inch, you'll iron the fusible interfacing to the back side of whatever fabric will be on the bottom of your glass. And then, with your other four fabrics, you're just going to take those to the pressing mat and we're just gonna fold those in half and just press. And you'll, you'll follow that same thing with all of them. And just to say that we, we, just to save time, well, you know what, we'll just do that real quick. We can just do those two both together, just so you can see. Now we'll open them right back up and we'll stack them right on top of each other. You'll see why we folded them in just a minute. And well, this, of course, we would have ironed that together. We can do that real quick, or at least just simulate that. Iron that together. Okay, let's just pretend that that's all ironed together. And we'll stack that completely on top of each other. You'll download that wine glass coaster pattern and trade, uh, cut that out exactly on the line. Now you see that there's the targets here, right? So, let's see here. I want to make sure that we are lined up. Yes, we are. I can see that little crease right there. So now, and I'm just gonna peek there, make sure I'm kind of lined up with my folds. And you know, it doesn't have to be exact. I have about the same distance between my pattern all the way around. And this is where you'll take that friction pen. If you don't have one, get one. You've heard me say that a thousand times. Okay, maybe not a thousand, but uh, like 125 probably by now. We've got about that many videos out at the moment that you're watching this video. And now I've got my shape. Now I'm gonna get a pin and let's, let's just secure all of that. Okay, so nothing's shifting. And with your scissors, you're just gonna cut all the way out. We've done that ahead of time, okay? And let's just, we've used slightly different fabrics here, but again, it's got the fusible uh, interfacing on that. And here, that's the folds again. Now, this is so fun. This is right side up. You've got that fold. You'll lay this on the right side. This next one will just go on the top. Now, just want to point that out that Obviously the rounded edge is going here, but try to make them be, see how you, you want it to be 90 degrees. You're creating a 90 degree corner each time. This one. And then for the final one, you'll lay that here 
and lift up the first one and tuck it under. And again, let's go ahead and pin that. We don't want any of that to shift. So you're going to pin that through. Of course, I do a much better job than that, and I'd pin them probably all the way around. And you'll simply sew a quarter inch seam all the way around the entire circle. And we've done that ahead of time. And just to give this a little bit more relief, we went ahead and we just cut some V's in there. So if you've never done that before, you're just going to snip in at V's. It just gives it a little bit more relief so it turns more easily. So now you simply turn your cozy right side out, or your coaster I should call it. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it a cozy. And you'll just simply turn that through all the way out. And you'll use your turning tool if you don't have that. And that just helps it turn all the way through and get everything all nice and smooth. Just turn it through and then you simply slip your glass inside there and enjoy. So that's all there is to making wine coasters with shabby fabrics.